Have you tried configuring a scanner to send emails containing scanned images but consistently run into problems? Or perhaps you're working on a web application that needs to send outgoing emails and need to troubleshoot communication with the SMTP server. This video demonstrates how to troubleshoot such problems by using a free tool that can run on any operating system, such as Windows, Linux, or Mac. This tool simulate connections as if originating from the same network as your scanner or the web application you're trying to troubleshoot. For example, instead of sending an email from your scanner, you run this tool on the same network, watch the communication sent to the SMTP server, and see the actual error message causing the problem. So, let's see how this is done. First, I download a small utility called Email Sender from this page. I am running this test on a Windows machine. Therefore, I am going to download the executable file. Once downloading is completed, I double-click the file to run it. Now, we're ready for our test. In this first test, I will send an email directly to a Gmail account. Typically, a scanner would not send emails directly to a Gmail address. I am doing this on purpose to demonstrate the error and a couple of features in this utility. To do that, I am going to put a fictitious address for the recipient. Then, I switch the tab to specify some sender details. I am going to remove the value for the SMTP server. When this field is blank, the tool will perform an MX lookup on the domain and automatically choose that value. I am also going to enter fictitious values for the sender's name and email. Then, I put an arbitrary subject and body. Finally, I click the send button. The communication log is displayed under this tab. Here, I see the actual IP address of Gmail's SMTP server. The email delivery is denied because the recipient's address is incorrect. This was expected. There are a couple of things to notice here. First, since the recipient's value is fictitious, it is rejected by Gmail, and I see an error in the log. Second, Gmail supports encryption, so the tool upgraded a non-encrypted connection to a secure one using the Start TLS option. I click the SSL Certificates tab to see details about the certificate used by Gmail. This is important because sometimes email delivery fails due to an untrusted certificate. Therefore, checking this tab is essential if you enforce encryption when sending messages. Now, let's send this email to an on-premise SMTP server, which acts as a smart host, rather than sending it directly to the final destination. For this test, I will specify an incorrect value for the SMTP server and click the send button. I see an error confirming the message failed. I click the Errors tab to see the error, which complains about the connection being refused. Common reasons for a connection refused error are an incorrect SMTP server, a firewall blocking access, an incorrect TCP port. In this case, I used an incorrect port. Note when I omit the port, it assumes 25. In my case, the server is listening on port 587. Therefore, I must explicitly add a colon followed by 587 in this field. Next, I send my email again. This time around, I see a connection is established with the server, but my email is still rejected. The actual error is displayed in the logs, and the server complains about relaying denied. This is happening because I am trying to send an email to a Gmail account without using authentication. There are two ways to fix this error. I can either configure the SMTP server to accept relays from my network, or use authentication. Let's use authentication to overcome this problem by specifying a user ID and password in the sender tab. Finally, I click the send button again and see my test is successful. The logs tab confirms the receiving server has accepted and queued the message. Note that this does not mean the recipient received the message. It just means the next SMTP server accepted it. Next, I am going to send a message that simulates a junk email. I have configured the junk filter in the server to deny messages containing the phrase. You're a lottery winner. I put this phrase in this text box and click send. 
The log now shows that the receiving server accepted authentication, the sender's and recipient's email, but rejected the contents in the data command. In this case, my only option is to change the body of the message so that it is not considered junk. This concludes this short video tutorial. You can use the email sender utility to simulate emails generated by any program and watch the errors generated by the receiving server. The displayed log is very helpful in detecting the actual reason why communication with an SMTP server fails.